Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Helen and you're watching a Friday Sews on Stitch Rip Repeat. So thank you ever so much to everyone who tuned in and liked, commented on my last video. I was quite surprised because I'd been missing in action for about six weeks I think and so I thought I probably would have uh, fewer views but it was lovely to see so many of you watched my sort of return video so thank you ever so much. I do appreciate you all sticking with me as I'm not the most reliable for posting regularly. I tend to be a hit and miss. However I am back with a Friday Sews. I will catch up on a few things personally and then I have some fabrics and a couple of purchases to talk about at the end. So firstly, hopefully the most obvious thing is uh, I had a haircut. <laughs> so I have very fine hair and when I was younger I had lots of it so it didn't really matter because it looked fuller but as I've gotten older and um, reached that sort of 50 plus stage my hair is really thinning out and I found that although I prefer it a longer length it really looked thin so I thought I'll chop it off and yeah I'm really happy I'm getting used to it I keep going to sweep it out of the back of coats and cardigans like I used to but there's nothing there to sweep out <laughs> so yes that's one thing I've done another very exciting thing I've done is I have started a part-time job in the local shop here in Plymouth in our city centre called Haberdashery Fabrics so yes it's like my dream job I wanted to work again. If you follow me for a while, you know I have four children that I've been raising and they are now of an age where they don't need me so much. And I've been wanting to get back into work. And this is perfect. It's a two or three day a week job. And I get to speak to lots of lovely customers about their projects. They could be sewing or knitting, crochet they can just be crafts it's just wonderful I absolutely love it so I have been busy doing a couple of days in that shop this week and I'm using that as my excuse for no sewing yet again as I did plan so last week this week but I had the interview last week and I started this week so yes that's very exciting so I am now back in the world of employed and in a, a haberdashery shops the only downside is I do get a staff discount, so I'm trying to keep my eyes off the lovely fabrics as much as possible because otherwise my wages won't go further than the shop. But there you go. So that's what I've been up to personally. I did say in, I think it was my last video, I'm sure it was, that I would talk more about the company called Wasted Fabrics. I showed you my gorgeous New York Skyline fabric. And thank you so much for all the suggestions. I think I'm going to go with the suggestion of lining a coat. I think that would be really nice this winter um, to have that inside. So thank you ever so much for suggesting that. And I also talked about that I'd ordered some more, which then funnily enough came while I was editing the video. So I did say I'd discuss my experience of buying from them. So I will talk about them and then I will show you the fabrics I got. I've made notes, so excuse me if I look at my book. So Wasted Fabrics are based in Brussels and they basically get dead stock fabrics from France and Italy and they they work with uh, printing mills, brands and designers getting their unused stock, i.e. their dead stock, and they cut in three metre lengths to save on packaging. However, I did look on their website and if you ordered two or more, of the same fabric they do cut it in a continuous length so obviously if you ordered two you would get a six meter cut their pricing varies depending on what they have they have a lot of variety on the website i have to say personally probably the majority of it is not my taste but obviously that's who tried but some of them clearly have jumped out of me because i've bought four fabrics now I think their postage for posting to the UK is not that bad. They do also post, obviously, uh, within Europe. But I think if you check their website, they do post out to the United States as well. So check out the costs for that. For the UK, I'm going to have to check my notes. They post at €9.95 Euros if it's under €75. Euros. So that's about £8.50. If you order between €75 and €125, Euros, 
it is six ninety five, which is what I did, and that's about five ninety five in pounds. And if you order over one hundred twenty five euros, it is free. So not bad at all. Now the reason I wanted to leave it till my second order to talk about was I had a lot of uh, stress with the first order, and in hindsight, I don't think it's the company's fault. They mentioned on Instagram when I ordered, I think it was back in May, May, June, that they were now posting out to UK. So it was obviously a new thing. And I think the problem was that their delivery company had issues and there was lots of setbacks. And my order, as I said, took a really long time, like seven weeks. Uh, it got posted so far, then it got returned to them. And then we had lots of emails back and forth saying, you know, what's going on? They said they're ever so sorry, they'd send it again. And it did eventually arrive, um, like I say, after that long period of time. However, I have to say, when I contacted them with my concerns about the delay, they were wonderful. And they gave me a voucher code for 50 euros in their shop. And so obviously, once my order had arrived and I was happy, I went on and ordered two more fabrics and I used that coupon and I'm pleased to say, I think hopefully the, you know, little kinks of the first time delivery out here have been ironed out because this order came in just 10 days and I didn't pay, obviously, because I had that coupon from them. So I am really happy with that. And I will still continue to look at their site, I think, to see if anything grabs my eye. So the fabrics I bought this time, I may have to put on screen. As I said, they're three metre cuts. This one I think is really lovely. It's slightly different to what I've seen around. It is a cotton jersey and it's in a white and pink my, uh, stripe. But it's got this, I don't know how they describe it, but it's got this sort of ruched effect where they've got elastic, really, really thin elastic running between the two pink stripes, which pulls it in slightly. So I really like that. And as there's three metres, I am hoping to get a couple of items out of this. I'm thinking a loose long sleeved top, a loose t-shirt, maybe like a summer dress. I just really like that. And I think that one was 19 pounds for the three meters. Obviously, as I say, I got these with the 50 euros that they kindly gave me. And then this one I absolutely love. This is a viscose crepe. I've got a very similar one, which I think I got from Stitch Fabrics. Again, obviously three metres. This one, I think, was £29. And it's in this gorgeous, is it a teal? I think it's darker than teal. This blue with the flowers in those gorgeous, like a royal blue. It's got like a rust, a black and a white. And it's lovely. Like I say, this one's a viscose crepe. And as I have three metres... I'm thinking maybe a jumpsuit would be really stunning in this. Uh, tell me what you think of this and my striped fabric. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know about my personal experience. So the first one obviously left me a little unsure. But then when they seemed to have sorted it all out and were kind enough to um, give me a gift in a way of saying sorry for the first one, I'm more than happy with the 10 day delivery coming from Brussels and those two lovely fabrics. So that was Wasted Fabrics. I will put them in the description. I put everything I talk about in the description. The other fabrics I have been buying were from the lovely Ruan. You've probably all seen, she's done a couple of videos about de-stashing. So when she de-stashed the first lot, I managed to pick up these two. I will have to pop on the screen how much they are. I've put it in my stash hub app, but um, I cannot remember. And the first is this really lovely brushed cotton and it has got this animal print in the pink, blue, grey and orange. I just love those and I like to make the Jamie pyjama bottoms by tilling the buttons. I've got about three pairs in various fabrics. I think those for winter will make a gorgeous pair of Jamie pyjamas. So Ruan, stay tuned. I will tag you when I make them. And the other one is this camouflage canvas, which again, I'll have to check how much I've got because my thoughts are either trousers, like a combat style trousers or a jacket. And it is this fabulous 
camouflage print there. As I say, it would be really nice in winter. I really like the idea of trousers with just a plain top, but I will have to check how much there is and then I'll have to have a little look through my pattern stash and see what I've got. So thank you, Ruan. I've been watching her second video. I've got my eye on a few fabrics, though they went very quickly last time, so I shall have to be ready for those. So those are the only fabrics I've been buying as I am trying to cut down. Though, as I said, with my new job, I'm not sure <laughs> how well that's going to go. The other things I've had are my Specky Seamstress labels from her monthly collection. And these ones are a Sewing Makes Me Happy in the three large ones. And then her uh, logo there with the cute little glasses in the four smaller labels. I really do like getting these. If you've watched me for a while, you might remember that I used to get the Think Pink box from Beyond the Pink Door and the So Haley Jane. Unfortunately, financially, I just couldn't carry on doing that. And as you know, I'm not short of fabrics, so didn't need to do it. But this is really affordable and I love still being part of a monthly subscription and I love labels. So that is from the Specky Seamstress. And then finally this week, I have jumped on the bandwagon of a certain pattern that came out recently, which so many people have been sewing up and it is the wonderful Nell from Tilly and the Buttons. The reason I didn't buy this, because I do, to be fair, I do normally buy Tilly's patterns pretty much the day they come out. I wasn't taken particularly with the Thai version. I know it's very popular because I know that there is the Fleur as well. Is it Fabric Godmother? The Fleur, which is also very similar. And I know it's in the shops. I've seen lots of people. I don't like the ties on me personally. So therefore, I just... I love seeing everyone else's, but I thought, no, I shan't be buying that. But for some reason, I missed out the fact that actually, if you look on the back, there is four different versions. There is the Thai blouse, which I'd seen everywhere. But there is also a peplum blouse with buttons. And there is two dress styles. I'll pop in a photo of that didn't show with buttons. And I actually love the one on the package. And I have quite a few checkered fabrics so I'm basically going to try and recreate that look I really love that and I want to do a dress it's just funny isn't it sometimes when you see a pattern come out you fixate on a certain part and I fixated on the ties and thought oh no I don't for me I don't like it just didn't even see the glaringly obvious button version so yes I did buy the nail it was in their sale when their patterns were reduced by 20 25 percent and I do like to have a paper pattern in Tilly's if I can. So I will hopefully be making that up. So that is it. As I say, I've been busy because I've been getting my haircut, getting myself a job, spending, of course. <laughs> um, but I really do hope over this bank holiday weekend here in the UK to get some sewing done. Now, I know you've seen my videos where I have lots of plans, but I suspect the first thing also will be... Um, a palette cleanser so to speak a lot of people would say one that I've made before one that's nice and easy it will probably be the Naya t-shirt by Tammy Handmade because I love those just to get me back in sewing because as you know I've I've lost my way going back into the shop and talking to people about sewing I think has hopefully uh, got me back in the mode and therefore my videos will actually contain some sewing makes soon <laughs> Uh, so that is it from me today. I do hope that you've managed to get some sewing done or something sewing related and I'll catch you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.